Hello, Professor. So I downloaded both the Ubuntu and uh, VirtualBox from the links that you gave for the assignment. So uh, now I'm going to install VirtualBox. Okay, so now it's downloaded and now I'm trying to add Ubuntu in a virtual machine. Mm -hmm. uh, Linux and I'll leave this like that. And then I hit next. And I'm allocating space this much, as you can see. Um, Create the mission disk next. Dynamical allocator. Uh, I'm allocating a uh, 50 GB for it. Okay, and then create. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going into settings and then uh, basic settings. I'll leave the same advanced. Uh, uh, these two I'll change to bidirectional <clears throat> and then description and uh, all these I'll leave as it is and then uh, yeah all these I'll leave as it is as you can see processor it already gave one CPU so I'll also keep uh, okay I'll keep two CPU for it and then um, display um, i'm gonna leave all these as it is okay i'm leaving all this all as it is <clears throat> Okay, so now I clicked on the storage and I went into this empty and I'm clicking on this disk file and I'm clicking on choose a disk file and now I'm giving uh, I'm going to the location where I downloaded my Ubuntu in the downloads Ubuntu and then uh, so I click open Okay Yeah, and now I'm starting the Ubuntu Okay, I select the language as English. Okay, so now the Ubuntu is installing in the virtual server. So I think it will take some time. Okay, so now I've selected language as English and I'm uh, clicking on install Ubuntu and uh, continue. And then, uh, yeah, I'm leaving this as it is. Continue. It's loading, it's taking some time. Okay, so uh, now I selected my current location, that's United States, New York. Then I hit continue and I'm giving a um, name for my Ubuntu as Rajiv. Then uh, password. Okay, and then I hit continue. So now the installation is complete and uh, I'm hitting restart now so that my virtual box will restart. 
okay so now my ubuntu restarted and uh, it showed like this so i'm hitting skip on the top and then next mm, okay, and again on the next and uh, again on the next done yes so okay so now my ubuntu installation is complete okay so now uh, as a as the ubuntu installation is complete i'm going into into the terminal to install a lamp server in the ubuntu okay so okay so i'm using this uh, web page as the reference to uh, install lamp server on the ubuntu so i'm following the steps that's given here so first step is update software packages okay so uh, next time going sudo apt upgrade You want to continue? Yes, it's running. Okay, so now it's installing. And I'm going back to my web page and uh, the first update, uh, updating the software packages. First step is done. Now I'm going to the second step that is install Apache web server. Okay, so I'm copying this and I'm pasting it in the terminal. so uh, it's installed and i'm trying to check its status apache status yes it's activated and it's running currently it's enabled right now okay now again it's running so so i'm trying to check the apache version that's installed copy and paste and then yes so the apache version is 2.4.41 and the server build okay time So I'm copying this 127.0.01 in the web page and I'm checking. So yes, the Ubuntu uh, default page it is, it works. So it is done. The Apache 2 uh, installation in Ubuntu is done right now. So uh, now we need to set www data apache user as the owner of the document root otherwise known as web root by default it's owned by the root user. So what I'm trying to do is I copy this and I paste it in the terminal. Okay so sudo chown. Okay this is the sudo change owner I'm trying to do it. okay and then uh, by default apache uses the system hostname as global server name if the system hostname can't be resolved in dns then we'll probably see the following error after running sudo this command i'm trying to run that command i'm running that command and uh, yes it's success hoping that error and yes we got that error and yes 
and then uh, again I went back yes uh, it showed the same error in the terminal as we expected so to solve this problem we can set a global server name in Apache use the nano command from Textator uh, to create a new configuration file then went back to terminal and then I pasted that Yeah. Yes, so it is access. Um, I copied this command and I'm pasting it in the terminal to enable uh, the configuration file. Okay, so I ran this command and uh, the syntax is okay now. In the LAMP, the first step is Linux, it's installed. And uh, the other one is uh, Apache, it's installed. And, uh, and the third one is MariaDB. So I'm installing MariaDB right now. In the Ubuntu. Okay, so now I installed the MariaDB and I'm checking the status on how it got in. Uh, on its installation status and um, yes it's active and it's running it worked perfectly okay so next what I Okay, so to automatically start MariaDB at the boot time, I am uh, running this command. Post installation security script that I am running right now. In the terminal. Okay, it's asking me to change the password and I am entering the new password. So I'm uh, running this command right now. Uh, this helps me to run MariaDB every time without entering password directly. So when I click exit, it came out. And I'm try. Uh, I'm checking the version of MariaDB. And uh, yes, the version is. Ready. So now the last step is uh, PHP installation, and uh, this is a big command for that. And I'm trying to run uh, i'm running this command in uh what okay i'm entering this command and uh, into the terminal but enabled okay running these commands in the terminal okay okay The PHP is successfully installed and I'm uh, checking the PHP version right now. So as you can see, this uh, Gend Engine v3.4.0 is the latest version. PHP 7.4.3 is the PHP latest version. Set the PHP and uh, it worked. Ubuntu in the virtual box and then the LAMP server in the Ubuntu. Thank you.